Hello everyone. The O7 servers came out a bit over two weeks ago and I thought I'd make a little progress video to show what I've been doing and what I've achieved recently. So uh, the first thing, well, I mean you can see what I've got in my inventory there but I'll talk more about that later. Uh, well, what I did when I started was mostly work on just little bits of skills for what I needed to do quests. And so I got a bunch of quests on. I finished all of the free-to-play ones, and then some of the useful members ones. I finished uh, the Death Plateau and Troll Stronghold, so that I could get to the Law Altar, because you need that for the Law Talisman. Uh, Ghosts Ahoy, so that I could use the Eek Defunctus for prayer. Uh, Grand Tree for the Spirit Trees, and yeah, just all sorts of little ones. And uh, so quests and all that, that was good at the start. Uh, but then what I really started focusing on was making as much money as I could because prices were relatively low and I wanted to take advantage of that as much as I could. So I, I really started working on runecrafting and so this was mostly in the first weekend when it came out and I got up to a bit over 44 runecrafting and I made a couple hundred K and I invested all in dragonstones which were 12K each and then I wasn't able to play for that following week. And so when I got back, I ended up having about a one mil bank because Dragonstones had pretty much tripled in price since then. And so uh, that was last Friday. And so starting about last Saturday, I started really low lifing and concentrating on making as much money as I could through runecrafting and merchanting. I was mostly merchanting uh, glories. I'd buy Dragonstones and get them crafted and enchanted and uh, charged and then I'd sell the glories and I made quite a bit of money off of that. There are plenty of merchanting options in the 07 servers. People aren't really used to not using the GE and so you can make a lot of money off of people who are a little bit impatient or uh, yeah, just selling them stuff uh, at their convenience. Uh, so that works pretty well. Um, so yeah, let's see. I made, let's see, I, I'm at a 530k runecrafting experience, so that's somewhere uh, just a rough up estimate off the top of my head. Uh, I'd say that's probably well, level 44 is about 50k experience, I'd say, so 480k experience, roughly 50k natures that I made somewhere around there. And so I'm not really sure how much profit that is because the prices have changed. I remember selling the first few natures for somewhere around 120 each, and now they're up to about 250 each. Um, so I made quite a bit of money off of that and quite a bit of money off of merchanting. I should also uh, give a little shout out to my crafter who I used, uh, I, I probably made like 500 <laughs> glories through him, and that's Munich, M-U-N-I-Q. So big thanks to him, and also thank you to all the people who charge glories for me. Uh, Ice, Mini Mao, DJD, uh, Mej, sorry, I don't know how to say the other part of your name, but um, so yeah, thank you to all of them. That was very helpful to have people to do that, and I did, I did pay them, so it's not like I'm mooching off people. So um, yeah, thank you for that. And um, let's see, so other stuff, uh, bank video stuff, uh, what do we have here? So I sort of organized my bank. A little bit with uh, runes at the top and then sort of tools and commonly used items on the right here so that I could withdraw them quickly. And then it's pretty much a jumble after that. It's tons of quest items. Put all my keys together here. Uh, raw chicken, <laughs> some herbs there. I got the Zami page for like 50k. I, I'll probably sell it when they rise a bit more. I, uh, I bought some Guthix pages down here because it's just so much less expensive. It's about 200k for all of the Guthix pages, maybe 150 if you're lucky. And uh, the Zami pages are like 250k a piece, so that was a good deal. Um, what else? It's Yeah, it's really just a jumble and nothing of particular value in here. Uh, so let's just skip over that. Uh, down at the bottom, yeah, I don't know, it's still really just more random stuff. Uh, the, rune, the runecrafting pouches and the other runecrafting stuff, I do plan on making a abyssal runecrafting guide, uh, just a little quick one with some tips in there, probably put it out Monday, tomorrow, uh, so hopefully that'll be good. Um, uh, yeah, for total bank value, it's a little bit, bit of an estimate, but um, I, I have the prices that I bought the Barrow stuff for in the description, I'm not sure of the actual current prices. But the Guthins I bought for about 3.6 mil, Variks for 1850k, Dahariks for 
3,070k, Carol's top 425k, and the Aram's top and bottom for 1.3 mil together. This pure essence I got for 22 each, which was a really good deal. You can usually get it, or you usually can sell it for 25 or so. And so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not planning on runecrafting all of that, but it's good to have, I suppose. And uh, then the glories, I was selling them for 70k each recently. So altogether, I believe this adds up to about 17 mil bank value, which I think is pretty good. I still want to get a fury and a, uh, a berserker ring, which I'll need to runecraft or sell some other stuff to afford, but I'll get that eventually, not any big rush for that. And yeah, I also do need to get a whip, but they're ridiculously overpriced at the moment because they're just brand new. I think the first person got their whip today or yesterday, so yeah, I'll wait a while on that. And uh, yeah, so that's really it for all my bank video. Um, as for future goals in 07 Scape, the main reason that I was no lifing this much is over break is because when I'm at school, I don't really want to be feel like I'm forced to play uh, in order to get stuff as the prices rise. So I'm just going to be messing around. I mean, I, I can't even wear any of this Barrow stuff, so I'll, I'll probably be questing and training combat slowly and just messing around. I don't really have any set goals, and I think that's a good thing. I think it'll be more fun to play this way, and uh, yeah, just have a bit of fun with it. So I hope you guys found this video enjoyable. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, keep an eye out for that Abyssal Runecrafting video coming out soon. Thanks for watching.